Tell me why this – why you think this bill is important. Well, the Constitution requires the governor to submit a budget that includes projected expenditures and projected revenues. The Constitution does not have a similar requirement for the legislature. So as a result, the legislature can – is required to adopt a budget that specifies expenditures. There's no such requirement for revenues. And for the past two sessions, the legislature has failed to adopt what's called a revenue estimate. The revenue estimate is usually adopted in October before we can meet. And unless the legislature changes that from the law we have right now, that revenue estimate remains intact. So while in April we are fighting over the last dollar to be appropriate in order to give to the taxpayers, we have no idea at all for the last two sessions how much money we actually are going to receive for that period of time that we're adopting the budget for. And so is this going to require some additional accounting work to go through and look at everything? No. It simply requires us to complete the work that for the last two sessions we have failed to complete. For seven sessions, I believe, prior to this time, maybe eight, every session we have adopted both the budget of expenditures in the House Bill 2 and a separate bill called the House Bill Resolution. We haven't done that for the past two sessions. And my concern is with the economy being as volatile as it is right now, by the time April rolls around, I believe, we ought to know exactly or more precisely how much money we're going to have rather than relying on data that's printed in October, probably based on information from June and July and August time period, seven months before. So at what point in the session would the legislature adopt this? I would assume it would be one of the documents. It could be done first. It could be done at the end. It just needs to be done. In the private sector, where I come from, we have to do both at the same time. We sit down and look at all the expenditures that we're going to project for the upcoming year, and then we sit down and figure out what revenue we can realistically expect to generate from the customers to cover those costs. And unless the two things match, we don't have a budget. We have, for the last two sessions here, we haven't done that. So I want to have a requirement that the voters would require the legislature to adopt a balanced budget that includes an accounting of all the expenditures as well as all the revenue we're going to receive to cover those expenditures. Are you actually talking about amending the Constitution to say that? So this is going to require voter approval? That's what the bill says. The language that the submission to a voter people requires a two-thirds vote to be put on the ballot, a two-thirds vote of the legislature put on the ballot, and the voters will have an opportunity to tell us if they really want a truly balanced budget. And I know they do. And do you expect to see resistance to this bill? And if so, from what? From where? I mean, I can't imagine. Those people that say that we ought to run government more like a business ought to be standing in line to sign on and vote for this bill. Have you talked to anybody in the governor's office about this? Is this something that they would support? I have not. It's not something that we have. There's other bills that have been before the legislature. Right now, the law says if the revenue estimate doesn't pass the legislature, the revenue estimate adopted by the Revenue and Transportation Committee in the interim is the revenue estimate. There's another bill that would change that statute to say the last action of the legislature, whatever it is, becomes the revenue estimate. Well, I think that opens up the politics because you could have one party in control that wants to have it high and then hold it in that committee and make that be the revenue estimate or artificially low. And I think it needs to have, as I said, a full and honest debate about what the revenue is really going to be, just like we do on expenditures. 